Yeah, go do that. That's actually quite a good spot. Affirmative. Moving out. And what do you see? Ooh, wow. Right at the edge of vision. There's side disc. The events in this video are fictional, as are the characters portrayed within. Any similarities to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental, and have been created at random by XCOM's name generator. Seriously. Hello one and all, Mickey here, Surviving RNG, and welcome back to XCOMEW Long Wire Eye Pets. We have got a UFO crash site to go to. It is a radar in Mexico, having crashed in a forest heavy vegetation. And we're going to be bringing along a little bit of a, a lighter squad than last time, considering last time was six pods at six and two outsiders, oh my god. So let's start off with our leader here. He's me training up some people, using his so others may live, and Semper Vigilance, keeping them a little bit safer, even though it's not being ranged of them. He's me lightly armoured, he's going to have one of two laser strike rifles, actually finished building. The second LMG though hasn't finished building yet. Stand the pistol, medkit, because he has saviour, so this is three medkits, and a battle scanner. One of two battle scanners. Then moving up through the squad is going to be Lowry, our concealment assault. He's going to be lightly armoured to be able to move up as far as he can. Scatter shotgun, laser pistol, motion tracker, I think one of two motion trackers we're going to have. And he's got pack masters, so it's actually four charges of the motion tracker, so we'll have seven motion tracker charges on this mission. Two flashbangs, and he's also got a medkit in the form of field medic, which I don't think stacks with with Packmaster, so it will only be one medkit. Then we have got Angelo being kitted out identically as he was last mission. Second motion tracker, alloy carbide plating, and the flush ability. And he is here for his run and gun rapid fire to ensure that if we want something dead, he can kill it. Although at great risk to himself. Next up, our only rookie is going to be Kat. She needs her 280 XP from the terror mission she was on. She's me going heavily armored, laser carbine, so she actually has half decent accuracy, of which, oh man, her accuracy is 62. Oh. I really don't want to turn you into an aggression infantry with 62 accuracy. Maybe you'll have to be an assault? Maybe? I guess? Oh man. Standard pistol, the second battle scanner, and our only HE grenade. This is going to be our only cover destruction. As I said, we're running pretty light on this mission, so we're not going to have any suppression or cover destruction. We will, of course, have concealment, sniper support, lightning reflexes, a few multi shots on soldiers, and effectively two rapid fires, one on Angelo, and the other being the close encounters on Lowry, which is going to be just as effective at killing the outsiders. But anyway, moving back to the squad we've got illustrious his random rick perk was repair all the way back in that newfoundland mission and so he's me bringing along three arc throwers yes we're gonna be capturing more aliens this mission and to that end he'll be lightly armored so we can run as far as he can standard laser rifle laser pistol just because we have one spare and a scope to make sure his two shots per round hit and then those perceptive you may have noticed that james watt another officer is me coming along so yeah he is an officer and although his officer rank is the same as wilson's wilson is still in charge because he has a higher soldier rank than him. Or maybe it's because he's led more missions, I can't remember. But either way, what is coming along? And why is that when he's an officer? And I don't really want to stack officers because Wilson is one of the few officers that has so others may live. And I have to bear in mind that although the rest of the soldier roster will slowly increase their will and aim by one each mission they come with him on, other officers that don't have so others may live are never going to get that bonus. So to that end, I figured seeing as I need to train James Watt up, I need to get to in the zone as soon as possible and then so shall you fight because as it stands, into the breach, 25% extra XP for sergeant rank or lower, for example, in this roster would be pretty useless. It'd only affect Cat. So this way he can come on the mission just for the sake of it, get XP for being here, get plus one aim, plus one will from Wilson so others may live, and just generally work his way down to in the zone. And then he kitted out with heavy armor, laser carbine, because as a rocketeer with good accuracy, this would make him a great executioner. Rocket launcher, of course, and one shredder rocket, and a scope to make sure every shot that he takes hits. And I have to remember, he has got main mayhem rockets as well so all of his rocket shots will be doing plus two damage next up we've got a medium range scout renee he's me coming along with a marksman rifle to be able to use his disabling shot because he's gonna be our disabling shot soldier he's gonna be heavily armored as i mentioned late strike rifle sword off shotgun will be his pistol of choice because remember scouts can use shotguns so sword off shotgun for him absolutely fine med kit because he's a scout we need to make sure he can move without taking damage under the effects of acid and he's got scope to make sure that all his disabling shots hit and lastly we have got gerard because we need to carry this mission just in case. Worst case scenario, I'd imagine this mission's gonna be three pods of six and two outsiders. So yeah, we definitely need to carry here. He's going lightly armored, proper laser rifle, laser pistol, alloy bipod, and a scope for a massive total of 119 aim. Not bad at all. Although nothing compared to Wilson's aim of 105. 105 base aim. And this is because Wilson has ranked up three times too many. So the next two rank ups, I'm gonna be doing it by the console so he doesn't get these stat increases. 
And the last final rank up, well, he's just gonna have to live with it. He's not a multi-shot soldier, so it's not a big deal. And as for what map it can be, I believe it can be one of three maps. One is Stone Wall, which is oh, it's such a terrible map. We've had that a few times. No matter where you start, you're always one screen away from the UFO. It is a very dangerous map. You can get swarmed very easily. Or it can be the Trench map, where half the map's on fire. That's a pretty good map. We start quite far away from the UFO, although in the Trench, there's very little cover. And then the other map, which is like Spooky Forest or Creepy Forest or something, that's a medium-sized map, lots of cover, just a standard forest map. And as for what pet we're going to be bringing along, we got Wilson's Seeker Hansel, which frankly, I'm not really keen on Seekers that much. Maybe I'll use them for more urban close range maps, where concealment soldiers are better for long range maps. So we have a vision beyond our normal range for longer, whereas Seekers, I only want them to be able to cloak for three turns, because otherwise it just gets broken overpowered. So yeah, no Hansel today. We got Gerard's Drone Bloodwing. Yeah, that's funniest jokes. Nice. And of course, we have Lowry's Sectoid Short Round. It is definitely going to be Sectoid. Sectoid works very well when it comes to capturing aliens. So he's going to be coming along. Let's set off and find out what map it's going to be. Please, no stone wall game, please. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Not We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. We've locked in the coordinates of Mexico. Fortunately, the civilian population in the surrounding area is minimal. We have to move to secure the area as quickly as possible. Not sure if this is trench or creepy forest. I can't tell. Might be the trench. There are a lot of broken trees here. Let's find out. Central, this is Big Sky. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a trench. Wow, the UFO is really close. Oh, wow, it is so close. Ooh, ooh, man, okay. Yeah, we're gonna be going this direction. Absolutely gonna be going this direction. Well, then again, if we do, we're gonna be far away from the extraction point. Oh, man. Oh, but I do not like being this close to the UFO. That is just a terrible place to be. And right, I didn't mention what mod shot perks we have. Larry's got close encounters. Angelo's got rapid fire. Illustrious has light em up. Renee's got double tap. Gerard's got double tap. And that is it for the active mod shot perks. And we have one passive mod shot perk in the form of Larry's close combat specialist. So things to do, I'm gonna drop down Larry's sectoid short round, give Kat her 280 XP from the terror mission we got her on, and hand out Wilson's officer perks that he got from his perk tree, which are so others may live, and Semper Vigilance. So be right back guys. Okay, we are back. Lowry's Sectoid short round has landed. Kat has got her extra 280 XP from the Terra mission, which frankly I think is more than she can actually have, because in a single mission you can only get up to the amount of XP that it would take to level up the following level. So at Rookie, to get to Specialist, it takes 120. I think to get to Lance Corporal, it takes about 480 or 500. So when we get back to base, you guys will see her XP is one XP away from that. So a lot of this XP that she earned on the Terra mission is wasted, but you know, what are you going to do? I'll actually have to keep that in mind about not giving her any kills at least if i can help it anyway as for this map I i'm pretty sure this is the trench yeah this is the trench the map extends way way down here oh my god and we are all the way the camera's still panning yeah all the way over here right next to the ufo we're on the close side of the map oh my god that is terrible if we move away from the extraction we'd have to fight through the enemy to extract and speaking of enemies we can expect the usual as well as the mechtoid that i'm still waiting for and from now on Berserkers, because they turned up last mission. Which, thank God, we've got Angelo here with a run and gun. And Wilson, what's your will like? 68 will? Oh my God. Isn't that the same amount of will that Van Dorn's got? I'm pretty sure it was 68. Or maybe it was 68 back at the base. And Wilson is 68 with the plus seven from Legio Pastor Nostra. But either way, Wilson's will is actually pretty good. So we've got a good chance to resist the panics from Berserkers. But yeah, also I noticed one of the reasons why Wilson's aim is so high, not just because he leveled up three times when he wasn't supposed to, but also because he's got some other live and he hasn't even maxed out yet it'll max out at eight aim eight will which is plus one for every successful mission he goes on and this is permanent it gets added to the aim back at base it doesn't get added as a plus it gets added to his base stat so without this he'd have 99 aim back at base so yeah that sounds about right but either way the next two level ups he gets the last two level ups he won't be getting the stat increases for them which will still put him at one stat increase ahead of everybody else at master sergeant but as i said nothing can do about that and yeah as for the enemy numbers as i mentioned back at base i'm thinking three pods of six and two outside why pod to six instead of four? Well, if the first pod we encounter is a pod of four, then I will reconsider. But for now, I'm going to say three pods to six. And I'm definitely going to be cautious considering the UFO is right here. The outsiders can literally be here, right on this barrier. They can be right there. So, Angelo, let's find out if they are. Oh, okay. All right. 
Okay, and because the motion tracker gives range five tiles further than visual range, you can move up five tiles, so let's do that. Still nothing, can't believe it. Okay, well, now I can dash up Larry here, but I'm worried about enemies coming through the UFO. And where's the edge of the map? Pretty far left. And on the right hand side, the UFO is right up against the wall. So ideally, we'd have wanted to have started on the far left hand corner. But what are we going to do, right? This is a good location for Larry to dash. I wouldn't imagine there can be enemies on the left hand side. We already have motion tracker range up to about here. And the map ends from there to here. I mean, pff, I wouldn't imagine there can be enemies there. And Angelo, you can't actually blue move back to the exit. Or maybe you can actually if these guys aren't here. Maybe you can blue move one more tile. Because I'm worried about people dashing to the exit. So I mentioned last episode that shivs need to take an extra action to load back onto the dropship to leave. I don't think that includes dashes, but I don't want to risk it, but I know that doesn't include shooting. So for example, if he blew moved the exit and shot and we left, he'd get left behind. So, God, I can't even move up Larry because if he does spot the outside, is he stuck there for the rest of the mission? No enemies in range, right? You know what? Sprint up. Do Let's it. Let's do this. Get cloaked. Give me vision. What do you see? Nothing. And as for the meld, I mean... <sighs> I suppose we should look. Being so close to the damn UFO, I'm not really keen on going particularly far. Meld, right here on the high ground. That might be doable. Yeah, and this is the dropship, it sounds like, right behind us. That's where we should normally start. And I'm pretty sure the trench, if I remember correctly, is on this side of the map. I think the UFO slams down here. Yeah, that sounds about right, yeah. This is where the actual trench is. But yeah, I only see one meld canister. There might be more in the ship, maybe. But I mean, not like I'm going to go in there anytime soon. So I guess... Renee, you have double tap, so you move to cover. Aye, aye, Commander. Illustrious, you have a low profile, don't you? Excellent. You can go to that low cover. Will do. Oh, you've got Mass Effect's Shepard voice pack. Cool. And what? You need to be in cover as well to shoot your rocket. I guess just go here. That's not going to trigger. That's within five tiles. So go there. Gerard, you can move and shoot. You have snapshots, so it'll be like minus 10 to hit. So you can take that full cover. God, you've been so close to the combat. In fact, you've got more health than Cat here. You've got so much health for a sniper. Wow. Okay, full back there. And Wilson, uh, actually, <laughs> considering Gerard's got more health, he should probably go here, and Wilson should go there. But considering Wilson can move and shoot, because he's got a strike rifle, I guess he can just go here then. So, go there. Heading out. Cat, you don't need cover yet. Go On there. Way. And short round, you can just sit tight there. Okay, give me an overwatch and tell me what is out there. Cyberdisc? We have got a cyber disc and there's a meld over here. Oh, we've got a cyber disc. Oh my god, man. Wow. And the meld was pointing this direction. It's not on the ship. God, we've got a cyber disc. That is going to be painful because... Oh, there it is. On the other side of the ship. I mean, pff, I'm not getting that. Not a chance. Wow. No way. Especially considering this wall is broken. Oh man. Yeah, not going to happen. But yeah, cyber disc. Even if we disabling shot him, the cyber disc is going to throw a grenade. And I'm pretty sure cyber discs get two grenades. Not that we're going to be able to disabling shot him twice in a row. But there is certainly a cyber disc out here. Angelo, scan. And yeah, you can't blue move to the extraction. Okay, well, it's going to be a dash. And that is five tiles, so move up. God, this is so precarious. Contact over here. Okay, so where you are, Angelo, that contact's still way ahead. In fact, near the meld over here. And the meld is there. So over there somewhere. So let's find out from Larry. You've got pretty good mobility. I think dash in there, you will be able to dash back. And there should definitely not be any contacts over there. Honestly, Larry, you should be able to go to here. Yeah, let's not go there because that will leave you stuck there. Yeah, but if you go to there, you should be able to dash back. You can already go from here to over here. So from there, you should be able to dash back to the extraction, I really hope. You know what? Go there, see if you can see contacts. If you can't, then you'll move up. I don't want you to go too far, buddy. Aye, aye, Commander. No contacts, fine. Then move up. God, oh man. Do it. Oh, actually, you may not be able to step to the left from... Never mind. You can still see him. I was thinking you can't step to the left. Oh, hello, Seekers. Is that a pod of four? It looks like a pod of four. Okay, so not pods of six, unless we can't see these Seekers. And that is such rocket bait, but we know there's a side disc out here. Okay, so let's move left a bit, but still keeping in mind that we need to dash to the extraction if we have to. So, Renee, take cover. You've got double tap. Okay. And you're not in range. I oh, thought extended range would reach that. Wilson, Ooh. move over. Gerard. You don't have vision on them? Oh, those trees in the way. Okay, fine. Awkward. What? That's going to be an awkward shot for you to fire from there. You're not going to be able to aim left. But will have to do. Sprint Make over. Illustrious. Low profile. And you guys can just stand in the centre. Heading out. And Angelo. You can just wait there on Overwatch, to be honest. Go for it. What else we got? We've got Seekers and Cyber Discs. And I don't hear anything else. You know what? Let's use our last motion tracker. 
and make sure this is a pod of four. Yeah, we don't have vision of the last one over there. So I think go here, do that. Yeah, that must be all of them. They're stacked on top of each other quite tightly. Yeah, so this is only a pod of four seekers. Okay, and Gerard. Oh, you're well within range to dash to the exit if you have to. So you can move over one. You got shots. You don't have... How? Is it really... Is that tree blocking that much cover? Wow, okay. Wilson, as well, you are in range to dash to the exit. Go there. And you guys move up. Oh, actually, what? You don't have good mobility. So I think you're going to have to go here. Maybe give a low profile to someone that's here. So in that case, considering Renee, you get double tap. Go I'm there. Rolling. What? You can go over there. Can you give him low profile? Yes, you do. Or distortion field, should I say? So you get 45 defense and low cover. Not bad. 10 from distortion field and 5 from 7 for vigilance. Cat, okay. move up. Short round. And illustrious. I want you to blue move and be in cover. So go there. And honestly, Larry, yeah, you can overwatch. Overwatch with a shotgun. Everybody, just do that then. Overwatch. What are you doing, buddy? Nothing, eh? Okay. That Mel doesn't have long left to go. Do you know what we can do, actually? Larry, you can dash up to here. We can start by shooting them with Gerard when he moves over. Oh, but he... Mm, damn. Maybe somebody else can shoot them. But yeah, if Larry goes to here... Hell, even to here. He should trigger CCS on at least one of them. So do that. Go there. Oh, thank God, no other contact's good. And there is that meld, surrounded by mutant squirrels. And this line of sight indicator, what the hell is happening? One of the seekers are off an angle somewhere. Both of these guys are off angles. Yeah, look, the line of sight indicators. <laughs> Okay, Gerard's got a shot now. Well, considering your accuracy is so good, and I believe you get dead eye, so plus 15 to hit flying units. Angelo, you get flush, and you've got heat ammo. Oh, but of course you have to be in range to use it, of course. What, what am I thinking? So I guess, honestly, Wilson shoot. Oh, you're not in range. That's fine, you can move up. Actually, we better hope we kill, because Wilson doesn't have a lot of health. Ah, screw it. Wilson, move up. Now you got shots. you got one or two battle scanners, but I believe... Yeah, Cat's got the other battle scanner, so it's fine. Well, let's start them off. Guaranteed hit. Down. Good damage was the kill. Yes, it was. Nice work. Okay, half of them stealthing. And CCS is... Is it going to shoot? Is it, is it going to shoot? No? Okay, it's not going to shoot. Okay. Not going to shoot. That's, that's fine. I mean, who needs it, really? Okay, well, for once, the Seeker's actually cloaked. So, let's go for a motion scan. Oh, actually, you know what might be a better idea? Hey, Cat, do, do you want to get into cover? Yeah? Do, do you like that idea? Cool. Headed there now. And battle scan. Eyes open. There they are. Now, Larry, before you do anything else, do you have a CCS? Oh, right, because you dashed. Hmm, okay. Sorry, not CCS. Close encounters. And Angelo, you've got heat ammo and you have flush. You can see where this is going. Gerard, you have shots on everyone. As do you, Renee. And what can finish off whoever doesn't get killed by whatever shots we take? So, let's just get started. Aim for the first one. 99 to hit. Flush the ammo. Is 11 damage. Flush heat ammo. Wow. Just, just so nice. Renee. Ooh, leader. Seeker. Beefy. Let's take shots. Start with you. 74 to hit. Nice Damn miss. Enemy is still alive. Try that again, buddy. That's a miss as well. Yep. Yep, that is, that's a miss as well. That is cool. That's fine. Illustrious. You're only in range of one of them. So might as well do that. Take two shots. Two 73s. Another miss. Good going, guys. If it's not a guaranteed hit, it's a miss. Another 73. Thank God, I thought that was a miss as well. Okay, Kern, you get a kill and get a bit of experience. 72. Ah, oh, do it then. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. Okay. And with Gerard here, that Seeker should be as good as dead. Yep. And thank God for that, because he's the only one left to shoot besides, you know, a short round here. Which you still don't have a gunslinger, which you really should. I don't know why you don't. Oh, cool. Kill him. 100 hit. Ooh, 5 damage. Okay. Should we try that again? Do more than minimum damage this time. Thank you. Cool. Well, that's one pod of four down, so I'd imagine, say three pods of four and two outsiders, seeing as this is not an ambush. And from what we've encountered, judging by the raiders that we've had, both crashed and landed can be ambushes. But this is not an ambush because it is pods of four. There could be a pod of six out there, maybe, but no, I'm going to say three pods of four and two outsiders. So short round, uh, you know what, just move up a bit further. That's fine. Go there. And overwatch. What else we got? Cyber disc, okay. 
we know that much. Angelo, you're out of motion. I was just going by the book. There is a ramp up here to get that meld, but we'd have to move up pretty far to do it. Well, motion scan. No contacts yet. You know what? This is actually the perfect position because we know there aren't enemies over here. Let's just do that. Cloak and go there. Already there. That is what we're looking for. Yep. There's a meld and no contacts. Okay. So now, do we advance and leave behind our extraction, putting us in danger, or do we hold tight? Ah, uh, advance. Anywhere that needs to reload, go take it. And anybody else just overwatch. Contact. Still only a side risk. And there's some meld. Not going to pop next turn. So we know that much. Okay, so if you can go there now, you can go back the following turn. Although, if there are enemies over here, which there very well could be, it will reveal you. But worst case, you can go back. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure Wilson here can move up and get sight on you to command you back. So grab that meld. Stay cloaked. Hopefully you don't trigger on the right. <sighs> okay. Oh, that... Well, hey, whatever. <laughs> Can you potentially actually stay cloaked, though? So I'm on it, Commander. Go move and get cloaked. Cool. Then let's try take the high ground. And Overwatch. Yeah, still only a cyber disc. Time for motion track. Don't have a lot left. Hmm. They could be to our left. There isn't great cover here. That's not a bad place, because we know they're not to our right. And there's no way we're going to be able to spot the outsiders unless they're right here, which we could do. Yeah, go do that. That's actually quite a good spot. Affirmative. Moving out. And what do you see? Ooh, wow. Right at the edge of vision. There's Cyberdisc. Cyberdisc, two drones, likely a Cyberdisc, and three drones. Oh, there he is. Right there on the floor, next to Cyberdisc. Okay, now unfortunately, you technically only have vision on that drone, so we can't disabling shot that Cyberdisc while it's on the ground, which would be easier to hit. And we also can't move you back without triggering. Guess we just move up and overwatch. I'm Let's do this. I have yes, sir. And then Gerard, where's the best place for you? There are a lot of trees between you and it, and that high ground's way too close to it. Honestly, I guess just here? Yeah, you got a shot on that drone now, and steady, I suppose. There's no way you're gonna get an overwatch from that range. And everybody else, yeah, just, just overwatch. Are you moving? You hear something? Oh, they're moving, okay. Okay, now we have vision of that cyber disc. And another meld over here. I don't think that's going to happen with that cyber disc in play. And actually, how would we even disabling shot him while he's on the ground? Because we need to have vision of him to do that. Because Rene does not have squad sight. And Rene's accuracy is nowhere near that of the snipers. Okay, Rene, you're not going to trigger doing this, no? It doesn't look like it. Nobody's getting highlighted. So go there. Moving out. Good. Captain Heading short round, just move up. I have to bear in mind though, ooh, yes, yeah, good point. Mm. When that Cyberdisc triggers, he may overwatch. In fact, hell, he may shoot. I'm pretty sure in Long War, mech have itchy trigger tentacles by default, which is a second wave option, which means that the aliens can shoot as their first move on reveal. So actually, yes, you guys need to be in cover. So Cat, just fall back I'm to rolling. here. Short round, go there. And Angelo, because I'm worried the same thing might happen to you. If you go there, you can just drop down into cover here. Assuming nobody else takes that cover. No? No, we're good. Illustrious has low profile, so you can go there. Go, go, go. Do we have a shredder on you? Yes, but the accuracy is not great. Let's steady. Although, if you move up and then he shoots and you move up again, he may be able to flank you. What? So, I don't know which way is closer. Is that closer or is that closer? It kind of looks the same to me. I guess just stay there. Steady. And Gerard, you still have shots. And on that side disc too. Wilson, you do not have a lot of health, my friend. But you do have extended range. So go there. Actually, maybe here. Might be best. And when he moves up, maybe you get an overwatch. No, uh, go there. If he flies up, maybe you get an overwatch. But you've got way too little That's health. You can get one shot. And everybody else, overwatch. Honestly, including Larry. If they get close enough for a shotgun, then go for it. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, right yeah. Sorry, look where. Okay, going right. And Larry's going to take a 50-50. Come on, buddy. Pretty good. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Honestly, that's the best we could hope for. Really is. And you're going to just uh, sit there, yeah? Okay. 44 on Angelo. Killed a drone. Very, very nice. Oh, my God. That's, that's amazing. 
And come to think of it, that was really stupid. With Renee, I should have steadied weapon to be able to save and shot you. Although, he didn't move up, so I wouldn't be able to do that. If I'd stayed here and steadied weapon, I'd have lost that steady weapon. But it is time. You have mayhem on your shredder. Try get the drone, but it's not priority. One half tile scatter. Grab that cyber disc. Six damage, not bad. And shredded both. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. And Gerard. Oh, only on the drone. Well, you know what? Do it. Done. Hey, you got a shot from here. Excellent. Take the shot. He's landed. 100 hit. 7 damage, not bad. And now, I'd rather not move up and take a lightning reflexes if we don't have to. But that's all the extended range we've got, so I kind of do have to. Let's motion scan just in case. Okay, so the drone is off down there and no more contacts that we can see. So, Renee, move up, buddy. Let's hope this doesn't hit. Position confirmed. Ooh, okay, perfect. Just one tile. He only had vision of you for one tile, so we didn't trigger Overwatch. Excellent. Exactly what I wanted. 99 to hit. Boop him. Done. Kill confirmed. Outstanding. Absolutely flawless. And then Angelo, can you move up? Let's see if you'll have vision. No, okay. Don't have any vision. Larry, you're telling me there are no enemies ahead and Angelo could actually move up to about here before triggering anybody else. Let's make sure that drone doesn't get any hits. So I could easily move here with Angelo and he will not trigger. Do that. There you are, buddy. Now time for a heat flush. 93 to kill, probably. Done. Very, very nice work, everyone. Conceal and reload. Just outstanding work. Illustrious, move up there. Short round, cat, and that's actually it. What else we got? Sectoids, okay. I thought this was a mech only mission. I thought we were gonna get the You've Got Blue on your medal. And yes, before anybody asks, I'm counting the outsiders as mech. That's basically what they are. They're not exactly alive. And unfortunately, we can't use Larry's last motion scanner. We can't do it. Without biologic skin, we need the motion scanner to find out where the outsiders are, at least to be safe. So, seeing as there is meld over there, uh, there could be over here actually, but if it is just sectoids, we could dash into concealment. You know what, Angelo, you move up. You good? You good, okay, and that's where the meld is. Okay, considering that you can't see anybody from where you are, then Larry, we know it's safe for you to dash over here. Sí, what? Dash. Wilson, dash. And Gerard, I definitely want you to dash and get some high ground. And Renee, just aye, aye, sit in low cover. Reload. Oh, yeah. Angelo, reload. Cat, move okay. up. And everybody else, Overwatch. Okay, outsiders are over here. Yeah. I don't think those are sectoids. Or are they? Could be the sectoids, you know. They could be. Either way, Angelo, you can move up if you trigger. You can fall back into concealment. Go do that. Nothing over here yet. Don't want to move up any further than that. We'll also move up. Location. Reload. Back in. Gerard. Ooh, one tile off. Okay, well, just go here for now. And everybody else, give me an overwatch. I think they are on the right, you know. Ooh, that's going to pop. I have to grab it now. Okay, well, you know what, Angelo? Got to be done. Okay. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's fine. Grab it. And then just sit tight. You can't really do anything else. Gerard, sit tight on high cover. Or the high ground. Reload. Everybody else, Overwatch. Okay, so they're ahead now. Okay. I think we're alone out here. Yeah, those sectoids are being very mobile. Okay, that's not going to trigger. Nope. No, that's not. In fact, this won't trigger either. So I guess go here and then go here if you can. Yes, Commander. Nope. Okay, then go here. Hello, little sectoids. They're all lined up. Oh, guys. Oh, that's adorable. What is this even? It's like they're about to river dance. Oh, if only somebody mod that in. And Gerard. Oh, that's right. You do have a shot. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look how close Angelo is. So, can you move to a position, Angelo? Apparently, that won't trigger, but I'm not going to risk it. Just go there. You good? You're good. Okay. And Illustrious, you have low profile, so you can just dash up to here. Short round, do the same. Cat, you don't have to go to cover. You just wait there in out in the open. Renee, I kind of do want you to go to cover. Go there. And what? You're not really needed to use a rocket right now, so just dash. 
And Wilson, hmm, I want you in range of Illustrious to be able to command him to do another capture. Just move up, I guess. And Gerard, well, I mean, you don't even need to, do you? Do you even need the high ground? It needs to be two and a half levels higher, which is what this is. This is one and that's a half. So that would give you height advantage, 20 to hit. Do you even need that though? Ah, no, screw it. Just, just stay there. It's fine. It's fine. Well, Overwatch. Come on then, Sectoids. Here we go. Or, or not. Uh, oh! Wow. Oh, sneaky Sectoids. They moved up one tile, one tile, spotted the shiv, they didn't move far enough to trigger overwatch, then they moved back. Again, one tile, just get out of range, and that was all it took. Okay, well, I already know what I'm going to do. Short round, move over. This didn't work well last time, but I'm going to do it anyway. Mind merge the boss, Wilson. Increase everyone's will, and honestly, we're not going to capture all of them. In fact, it's impossible to capture all of them. We only have three charges on the stun gun, so... Oh, Gerard, you don't have a shot. Okay, yeah, behind that tree, so I'd have to go to the right to, to get a shot. Maybe here? I'll yeah, do that. No shot. Wow, okay. All right, then lose high advantage and go here. There you go. And because there's no AoE, what's distortion field to actually help out here? So let's do that. Here's good enough. Although you have a shot. Right, because you're a sniper. <laughs> right, Wilson's a sniper. <laughs> but I don't want to risk that. Move Can't back and overwatch. What? Give everybody distortion field. And Renee, dash up. Oh, right, and Larry's right there. Wilson, what's your will? 99 will. Are you giving your will to everyone? Yes, you are. Everybody has 99 will. Excellent. And Angelo, actually go here, I think. Because the angle they're going to be coming at us from, I don't think anybody's going to get a shot at you from there. So go there. God, I'm, I'm thinking this is like um, Battletech, where dashing gives you decreased chance to be hit on their turn. And Larry, um, honestly, Larry, you can move back to here, then move up again to here. So do that. Move back, break concealment. On my way. That's fine, don't worry about it. And then move forwards, regain concealment. Mm, okay, no contacts, that's, that's weird. Oh, right, there's damn logs in the way. Okay, so that's actually a better position. Ah, all right. So everybody over, watch. They got some mine mergers going. Sixty-five to hit from what? It's a miss. Not a great start to his in the zone career. Seventy-four from Wilson. Hit. Decent damage. Not a kill though because the mine merge. Oh, he's not mine merged. Okay. And cat with fifty. Miss. No way that just happened. And lastly, Illustrious with a 65 is a kill. I got him. Yes, you did. And that's a dash. That's not low. Okay then. Um, you know, Renee, what you should really be doing is disabling shots. God, why is it saying that you'll kill him outright? Ah, oh, screw it. Just try it. Why not? Ah, oh, miss. Okay, never mind. Restricting enemies movement. Adjusting aim. And you've got another shot, so might as well take it. 65. Really? Okay, well that's another one dead. About to start keeping score. Gerard, I doubt you'll kill him. 85 to hit. 85, I'm surprised it's not 100. Not great damage. Honestly, I kind of want to give the kill to what? He really, really needs to level up. He needs to get good quick, both for in the zone and for being an officer. So I think I will leave it at that. Short round again, buff the boss. And I don't know if I want to overwatch. Ah, oh, screw it. Why not? Oh, flanked. Really? Really flanked? They're falling back. Yeah, he's falling back, I bet. Okay, Larry, you won't have a shot from there. You know what, there's one more sector out there, we'll try and capture him. So, Larry, oh, he could be on Overwatch, actually. Angelo, find out, is his friend on Overwatch? And also, please don't try the outsiders. Nope. Although, he is going to mind merge you. So, we can't have any of those mind mergers going. Although, hmm, yeah, we'll target that bad guy. We'll have what to kill this guy. Larry, yes, come on. go here. Weaken him, just, just a little bit, just a little tad. Give him, give him a gentle boop. And then, what? Oh, you got mine fry as well. Hey, that's really handy. Really, really handy. 93 to kill. Nice work. Okay, so we actually have two mine frays to try get the sectoid down. I do want to keep tabs on you, buddy. What's your will like, Larry? 64. It's not bad. That's fine. Just sit there. 
Angelo. Oh, and Angelo's got suppression, so we do have suppression. Man, not keeping track of what we've got. Angelo, go there. And everybody move up. And with four health, I would not recommend a disabling shot. But we won't have distortion field from what either. Illustrious, you can move up. You have got low profile. And Wilson, I do want you to move up to give them your will. Can you do that from here? We'll see. Yes or no? No is the answer. Yeah, they're not getting your will right now. And Illustrious has much lower will. So, short round, I want you to mind merge with Illustrious. Cat move up. Way. And Rene. You know what? Just, just, just go there. It's Already fine. There. And Gerard. I mean, we don't really need you right now. Just reload. Short round. Move over. Mind merge with Illustrious. Seeing as you're going to be doing the capturing. Done. And that should give you 83 will. Not bad. Maybe it'll stop an unmine merged Psy attack. And Cat's Rocky reload. Roll. What are you going to do, buddy? Good. You're staying. You're not staying. Okay. All right. Angelo. Let's find out where he is. There's a dash, so he's not an overwatch. Can you get a suppression? Yes, you can. Okay. Next question is... Oh, I can't actually get what in range. I was going to try get the distortion field on Angelo. Illustrious, you've got your capture. You need to be quite close to use it as well. Larry, go here. Keep tabs on him. And Illustrious, how far can you move? Seven tiles. So from here, it would be seven to that log, but not diagonal. So you would not even be able to reach him from here. So you better start dashing, buddy. Likewise with everybody else. And what? You know what? Just sit here. I wouldn't imagine the sector is going to break suppression and move up at the same time. If he moves, it'd be backwards. So just go there, as far as you can. Gerard is still at an angle. Cat, you can just go here. Wilson, you've got to start running as well. Make sure the side abilities have a higher chance to hit. Roger, Dodger. And short round, we definitely need you now. Get going. Steady. When short round's done, steady. Honestly, just, just everybody steady. Except for Angelo, who I want to suppress. You have more than enough health armor to block an attack. 27 to hit. Okay, so Wilson, from where you are, that is squad sight. And what you need to be in range. Can we just move up and laser pistol him? Let's give it a go. Just don't trigger. Good. Being kind of reckless here. So you have got 281s to hit. Just whatever you do, don't crit him. Which you shouldn't. One damage, really? One damage? What are the odds that you can do four damage? God, what well, ah, screw it, do it. You killed him! Kill confirmed. No firepower over here. So the first shot did minimum damage and it rolled the DR from the log. And the second shot did maximum damage and it didn't roll the DR from the log. Oh, well. And before you ask, guys, no, I will not be capturing the Outsiders yet. I'm pretty sure we skip a cutscene if we capture the Outsiders first, because we need to interrogate an alien, then you get the cutscene for that, and then you're told from that cutscene you have to capture an Outsider, but if you capture the Outsider first, I think it skips that cutscene entirely. I, think. I might be wrong about that, but I don't want to risk it. So yeah, no capturing Outsiders yet. Everybody just, just move on. On so, Larry, let's begin our approach, although I prefer to do it from this door. But then again, this wall's broken. Go here. I'm on it, Commander. No contacts. You can also go here, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Run over here. I'm rolling. We're good? Good. Get rid of the blue moons. Come on. Come on. Honestly, I should have just gone for the mind merges. Mind merges only do one damage, unless their will is incredibly low and they're kind of penalized for something or other. But yeah, I should have gone for the mind merges. It would have taken longer, but once the mind merges have started, each mind merge attack is a high chance to hit. So are they in here? Solid copy. Ooh, Ooh okay. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. I was just going by the book. I really didn't think they'd be in here. I really didn't. Wow. Okay, well, that's where they are. And because Larry's now stuck there, we can't go this side expecting them to take cover from this door because they're going to take cover from Larry as well, even though they can't see him. So we have to approach from this side. I mean, ideally, I prefer to come from this doorway. Wow. In fact, having said that, how the hell did we not trigger them? Angelo was here. Oh, wow, that was lucky. Yeah, I'm guessing at this point, the wall is blocking it. Mate, I don't know. I I don't understand. Oh no, it was here. He was here. No, he wasn't here. So he'd have gone the other way around. He was here. So we went to here. So this tile, we would have been in range. But at this point, the wall would be blocking. So if Larry was one tile over and I'd moved up, it would have triggered. Wow. Wow. That's... That was close. That was so close. Moving up. Not going to trigger, no? Good. And Gerard. Honestly, just go here and steady. 
Not going to trigger. Nope. Okay. And not going to trigger. Good. Now, hopefully, they form up on this door. Whichever one runs away, like behind that door, Angelo can run and gun him. But I need someone to be in this yellow move range, which is really blue move for Larry here. So we can close encounters him. Oh, actually, yeah, just, just reload. And I've watched. Oh, so who is not going to have a good shot? Sectoid, I guess. Just go here. Little sectoid. Trigger them and make them advance. Hey, guys. Okay. All right. Don't tell me that blocks entrance through there, does it? Yeah, it does. We can't get through there. Can we? Oh, no, we can get past them. That's odd. We can. We can do that. Okay, sure. Angelo, run and gun to here. Thank you. And are you not in cover? You're not, are you? Wow, okay. Then, Cat, where are you? There. You've got our only cover destruction. Let's see if we can use it. Although, oh, man. I'm not really keen on leaving anybody out of cover. And that was actually really silly. I put Angelo there first. Wow, okay. Oh, well, Lustrous has running gun. I didn't realise that. Okay. Okay, well, then, sure. Go for a career. running gun. Why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Completely forgot. Go there. Boop, boop, boop. And honestly, at this point, with Illustrious completely out of cover, we have to go all in here. So, Cat, just, just move out. Heading there now. Grenade that wall. I'm sure we're going to be fine. I'm sure we're going to be absolutely fine. Grenade as far as you can. Two there. Batter up. Anything? Nope. That is fine. And Gerard, you don't have a shot, really? Seriously, you don't have a shot? Oh, just go there. And then take a shot. 59 hit. That's off. Yep. And here is Larry. Okay, so they are confirmed kills. Okay. All right, what to move up? Let's see if we can get a kill for you. The only shot you've got is against that one. And it is a 58. So it's not terrible, but just not very likely. And for that... Angelo, just, just rapid fire this one. Get him out of the way. Nobody else can hit that besides the people inside. We got two 95s. Only one. 11 damage crit. Illustrious. Boop him. 66 to crit. Not a crit. Okay. Then, Larry, with your pistol, you got a free shot because you're in close encounters. Boop him. Okay, two damage. Minimum damage again this time. You're doing the reverse of what I want you to do. Actually, I should have run what inside and then commanded with Wilson here. Oh, well. How much for a mind fray? Zero percent. Okay. The carbine will have to hit a 50-50 and deal mid-damage to kill him. I'll go for it. Done. Sweet as. Operational objectives completed. Okay, so three pods of four. Not an ambush and no captures, unfortunately. It's a real shame. It was nearly even the mech-only mission. Pod of seekers, a cyberdisc pod with three drones and then two outsiders, of course, besides those four sectoids. But yeah, it looked tricky when we started that landing zone. God, Big Sky really needs to learn how to park his plane. But yeah, it worked out in the end. Our troops are making it look easy out there. Let's hope they don't get too cocky. Okay, so Renee leveled up. Wilson, I don't know if you leveled up. Let's find out. Did you level up? Yes, you did. Okay, but either way, I can't give you this because it needs to be via the console. So you're going to get Mayhem, which is plus four damage with your sniper rifle. I was thinking of run and gun, but considering he's an officer, he tends to stay relatively close to the squad in case we need his will or his command. So moving and shooting isn't a big deal because he takes a strike rifle. So it's going to be Mayhem plus four damage when you actually do shoot your one shot. But yeah, I can't give that to you because you've leveled up too many times. Cat will find out where you're going to be back in the barracks. And in fact, actually, oh wow, yeah, your XP got capped at 349 because it's 350 to get to Lance Corporal. That's a shame. And then Renee. You actually leveled up properly. No, you didn't. <laughs> Nobody leveled up. Well, except for Cat, who we already knew that. Renee, you're missing your combined arms because that was your Lance Corporal perk. So yeah, we'll just move on then, shall we? We have got four sectoids, cyberdisc, three drones, and four seekers, as well as 76 solarium, 68 alien alloys, and 13 weapon fragments, of which we're getting like 20 or 25% more. 70 meld, not bad, we've got two canisters, really not bad. The last canister we got just in time. Two flight computers intact, two flight computers broken, and two power sources broken as well. Not bad, it worked out. So Cat, what are you gonna be with accuracy like that? I guess an assault? Let me get rid of that battle scanner. Yeah, I guess you're going to be an assault. Your mobility is decent-ish. Your will is average. Your aim is below average. Your health is average as well, because four is minimum. Too low to be an infantry. Honestly, I guess assaults, because assaults with their running guns, tend to flank their targets more when they shoot, and that will just skyrocket their crit chance with aggression. So yeah, going to be an assault. 
Okay, so your next level up, which you'll get in eight days when you come off fatigued, then the following day through VR training, you'll rank up to Corporal. You will, I mean, just get TK Field. You've already got to run and gun. You're not going to get Sons May Live. And, and that's it then, I guess. Then you'll send all two shots in Overwatch, not for a shotgunner. Steadfast, not likely. Double tap's not bad. It's not. It's a multi shot perk. And if you don't have the other multi shot perks, which it doesn't look like, it's not terrible. Against a really heavy mech that gets in close, it's not the worst thing in the world. Then you've got Smart Mac Phrase, is boring. You've already got Aggression. Sign Inspiration, I guess. Yeah, like, it'd have to be by default. It's not bad either. If somebody's panicked, that'll bring them out of it. Then Heat Warhead's boring. Automated Threat Assessment, plus 0.5 DR, as well as plus 15 defense while on Overwatch. It works well with Sentinel. This is actually quite a good combo for anybody using a rifle, but you're not going to be on Overwatch. So it's going to be combined arms. Each one of your shots ignores one DR, which isn't bad, especially seeing as you've got double tap. Honestly, double tap, yeah, it's. I have to consider double tap to be basically like light em up, in this case at least. Except the difference being it can only be used every other turn, and also once you've used it, your second action can only be a shot, whereas light em up, you can do whatever you want for your second action. Then we've got Stay Frosty, oh my god, no. Shredder doesn't work with anything besides mechs and gunners, or rocketeers, I guess, with their rockets. And flush, yeah, yeah, flush is okay. I can't remember if it works for double tap. I think I've got it written down somewhere, but yeah, flush isn't bad. And then we've got Mind Control. We'll have to see what your will is when you reach Master Sergeant. Jumpy legs every other turn. Not not bad. It's not terrible. But honestly, I'd probably go for Vital Point Targeting. By the time we get down here, we can have most of the things autopsied. You'll be dealing plus two damage. Honestly, really, it'll be plus three with combined arms. And you got double tap. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. The only problem is it's not great. And the only reason why I'd take soldiers that are just okay and not bad is if they're utility soldiers. And unfortunately, you're not a utility soldier. You don't have cover destruction. You don't have lightning reflexes. You don't have disabling shot. You don't have smoke and mirrors for extra throws of chem grenades. You don't have repair. So yeah, you're just okay. Unfortunately, cat. Sorry. And I'm going to make a cut here as I give Rene his combined arms back and Owen Wilson his souls may live and Semper Vigilance back as well as giving him via the console mayhem so that he has one less level up. And also I'll find out if Angelo has ranked up. Although judging by the fact that McLean is on 16 missions and 65 kills and hasn't leveled up and Angelo is on two more missions, counts for four more kills. And on 53 kills, I really don't think Andrew's leveled up. Yeah, he, he hasn't leveled up. So be right back. Okay, we are back. I have given Rene his combined arms back. I gave Wilson his Semper Vigilance and so others may live back. Also giving him Mayhem by the console so he wouldn't level up. And I also forgot about what tier need to be given his Into the Breach. So I did that as well. And that is everything. So I guess we just carry on with the clock. Oh, right. I forgot to mention, guys. When I was doing the loadout, I should mention this at the beginning of the episode. When I clicked on the globe, a few seconds passed, obviously just waiting. And one of the laser cannons got finished. And I think, did I actually put it on anybody? Yeah, I did. I must have not wanted to risk forgetting about it. So I guess I put it on, yeah, Von Bonin. Bonin. Ah, I put it on Baron here. So Baron is actually injured, although it only says he's arming. But yeah, he's actually injured. So when he's done with that arming the weapon, we'll find out how injured he is. But either way, I guess we just spin the clock. Give me that armor back and the Gatling laser and three alloys rebate. And finally, the chem grenades. Oh man, we need these. Ooh. Canada wants the five mutant corpses we've got, but I want mutant corpses for the ammo conservation project, which honestly we can get right now if it wasn't for the mutant corpses. But it is so important that Canada especially increases that uh, panic resistance. So yeah, get it. Mutant corpses for Canada. Give me two scientists. Done. Keep spinning. Chem grenades. Done. And four alloys back. Seems we've got that beautiful, beautiful rebate bonus on all of the workshops here. And speaking of a JC bonus, the Gene Lab is badly finished. Varlin, give me a Gene Lab. Genetics Lab facilities operational. Very nice. To Welcome to the Team Commander. Gene Lab. This facility will be the nerve center of our genetic modification program. Our soldiers will receive entirely new capabilities, making them more effective on the battlefields than ever before. As we improve our understanding of alien genetics, the range of available modifications will expand. The mild substance has been enormously valuable in advancing our theories on genetic modification. So far, we've been limited to the augmentation of existing human organs. With the latest autopsy results, we now have the option of incorporating alien physiology into our genetic enhancement programs. It may be asking too much of our soldiers. They would be even more capable on the battlefield. Might be asking too much of our soldiers? Nah, it's fine. We'll just plug in whatever we want into them. That's fine. So in gene mods, honestly, there are a few gene mods I actually think are worth it. One is iron skin, plus one damage reduction, permanent whether in cover or not. And two, and probably more likely, is jumpy legs. But I'm not going to be doing that yet 
I'm probably not going to be touching Gmods until we get mechs. So, no Gmods yet. Let's finish the research alien biosubnetics. And Japan wants Illyrium. How's your panic resistance? Not great. I mean, I'm never going to say no. Because unless you want laser weapons, then yeah, that's just that's funny. Take it. More engineers. Keep going. And our next mission. A moderate, which frankly, I can't even remember what the numbers are. Hold on. So swarming is four pods of four. Maximum. Between 16 aliens and 14 aliens. So heavy is between 14 and 12. Moderate is between 12 and 10. So about four pods of three, I think, is a moderate. Unless we've got to the stage of the game, which we'll find out with our first pod, if the pod numbers are starting to increase, which means the aliens per alien activity rating will increase as well to match. But either way, actually, where's this going to be? An urban block. Several buildings and a large combat area so guys that will be next time maybe we'll even bring a rookie which of you six guys and gals wants to come out on a mission i've already used up our reservoir of potential snipers although jaden smith and russell crow with average aim they wouldn't make terrible snipers in vanilla xcom vanilla long war all sold to start with 65 aim anyway so yeah they wouldn't make terrible snipers and if they got something like double tap or hit and run or in the zone definitely gonna be snipers but anyway guys that will be next time thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let everyone else know if they enjoy it as well. And I'll see you guys back here next time for the continuation of XMW Long War II Pets. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Quite a few hits. Ow. And a headshot. Are you kidding me? First damage done to us was a headshot. You must be goddamn joking. Uh, oh. I knew it. 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 I absolutely goddamn knew it. I.